What is up, guys? Pittsburgh Weishwartz back again with the final segment of the Avatar The Last Airbender set review. Joined today by the usual Carmen. What's up? What's up? Ollie and Hi. special guest Tyler from Weeb Shorts. Hello. And today we're just going to be finishing out uh, the set, rounding it out with blue. And without further ado, let's uh, jump right in here with uh, Sokka, warrior from the Southern Water Tribe. This fucking stone cold expression on his face. Uh, on your turn, he gets three thousand, so he swings for sixty five, seventy five with the climax. Um, and when you attack, if you have space sword and experience of two, look at the top three of your deck. Choose an event or avatar character uh, in your hand, and this card gets five hundred power more. So with the climax, he swings for eight k. It looks like. Yep. Um, yeah. I think Take I'd rather run red. this over the uh, first card we had in red last time, the Azula combo. The fact that I have agency to choose the card I'm adding to my hand instead of my opponent, I think I like a bit better. Um, but I do hate experience. I fucking loathe experience as a condition. Just like yeah. a personal pet peeve of mine. It's like... But I know it's annoying, but in terms of Avatar, this is the most generally good combo that provides you mill on a decent trigger that can also pick up events and swings for a good power line. So I think it's a concession you just have to make. And I'm online with everybody else. I'm, it's, it's not... I'm just not add anything like Okayu. Because... Because this is... He's not an idol. Because this set was designed <laughs> by the guy who designed Batman Ninja. What? What? Sorry. Oh, you can't Whoa. just say that. No, Josh Bushiro is going to take me out back and old yeller me for that one. That's okay. I'm already on the blacklist. Um, okay. I, I mean, it's a yeah. really simple card, um, but it's pretty strong. Yeah, I think it's like the... It, from what we've it's seen, this seems like the best, the best level one combo. It's not like fantastic, but it's like... What, it like is solid what and it achieves yep. exactly what you want it to do. Which is more than you can say about the other ones that have issues. Um, and Pants is a nice versatile trigger too. Yeah, pairs yes pretty it is. nicely with anything. So also works with the two-one yellow card, which is important. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Next. Uh, three, oh, two. oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry. Not to what? mention there is a bonder to the Sokka too. Yes, there is a bonder. Yeah, yeah. The two and that bond makes him a lot better too. All right, three, two, Katara, desire to help. God, this base rarity art is terrible. Um, if you have four or more World of Avatar characters, that gets minus one level in your hand. When you're placed on stage, you have another World of Avatar character that gets the following ability at the end of your opponent's next turn. During your opponent's turn, this gets 4,000 power. Uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you may discard one card. If you do, heal the top card of your clock to your stock. I kind of like that. I, I like the um, off-turn power. I like the off-turn power. I don't like that you don't get it immediately. What do you mean? Uh, it's only during your opponent's turn, so you're 8-5 on when you have to swing. Oh, wait. It's only for one turn cycle? It's yeah. one oh, turn. I thought, I, thought, I thought it was plus four. Yeah, no, no, no. It, it's worse than that. It's on your opponent's turn only. So when you swing... You are still eight five. That doesn't make sense to me. Like it would make sense if it was just like a continuous plus four k off turn. That's in blue. I agree. Identity. I like, agree. There are so many other wow. cards, like the president from uh, Agia, Sayaka from yep. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Like it's just a draw. Just get it on 4K. play. Yeah. Weird. Wow. It's almost like the person who made the set didn't know what they were doing. I, I'm, oh, okay, I guess it heals that, too. Carbon. I'll it, say it whatever is, I want. Like I said, I'm already on the blacklist. I can just run my mouth. It is your take all you on your mouth, though. early play healer. It's okay, but it has this effect. You asked all those to other be cards here. we mentioned. <laughs> Shut up, Carmen. Get off your cross. I'm trying to like talk about the card. All right. I'm always You're not okay. a martyr. Shut up. Get I'm just, off your I'm cross. just fucking with you. Okay, you know it's fine. <laughs> no, I get what you're saying. Like it, it's. It's your typical early play profile, but it also gets the cross turn power. All those other cards were like weird corner cases. 
<laughs> provided that it lives through the attack step. It and is this very heals. good. No, none of those other cards heal. No, no, they do not. This is your go-to healer. It's your go-to blue experience. You will probably play it in every deck, and it will be so much more awkward than it, than it has to be. Than this goes in your no level zone so much more often than anything else. Yeah. I think it's fine. It's just It is only not playable ideal. because it is the only thing you have. Yeah, it's your only early play healer. I, I It's so awkward that this card does not get power on attack. I like how you spelled aqua backwards. Aqua. I mean, that's what it is. It's backwards aqua. I'm glad somebody picked up. On oh, that. oh, okay. Yeah, Sorry. it's aqua in reverse. I, yeah. I, I, I also. But that's why I said I like that. That's you, why you said it. Yeah. Oh, I was the odd one out. It's okay. <laughs> Tyler, go I'm ahead. All right, uh, so Katara saving Aang. If all of your characters are Avatar characters, this gains a thousand power. Whenever it attacks, uh, if you're uh, if you have experienced four or more, you can heal one, and then at the start of your opponent's attack phase, you neg one soul to two things. This card has a um, whole early play package around it. By yeah, the way. I, I was I was about to say you didn't have uh, you, you don't have the two one on the slide. I can grab it. Hold on, I think it's important to talk about. Uh, I, I was curious about like why there's an experience condition on like a level three like that, but this is the uh, this is the event. Oh yeah, this is like the sumi. Yeah, it's like the sumi. So f for the same card economy as a heal to stock, you can uh, play this card down from hand. Uh, by playing this event and then playing it from hand. Yeah, so so the appeal here is that you play it with the event and then you make it hexproof so you can't get any change. And then you're playing eight pants so you keep looping the neg souls. And you heal on attack, not on play, which means while you're neg souling them, you're also healing. Yeah, it, the the potential for this to like snowball out of control... Is this actually, thing snowballs really hard. Yeah, it, it it's actually insane. This was the one of the first that things it's not I brewed. Particularly big. Yeah, that 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 is the problem. It's small. Because hexproof does not stop you from something that's bigger than you. There are ways for you to save this. If you have an open slot, you can actually yip yip this to the back row, um, after neg soling, which is pretty funny. Um, that's really funny. But why is yip yip in your deck? Hey, well, that's the problem. Um, is how do you fit yet? Because <laughs> your level your one combo can grab it. Uh, your level one Sokka can grab the healing lessons, which is really yep. cool. Um, which you know further pushes you into a pants. There is a like canned assist that you're supposed to play with this, which does filter you into more tools for your upcoming turn if you trigger pants, which is always nice. Um, but like you know, it, it's gonna need testing. The the snowball potential is absolutely nuts. Um. So I'm also I'm gonna like err on the side of caution and give it like an A minus because like if you can find the build where you can snowball with this and like just keep going off, but it, it's insane because it's a hexproof neg soul that heals. That's like insane, like absolutely crazy. The issue is just like how do you keep doing it, dude? We whenever I first, just, whenever I first, just read keep the playing event. healing lessons, right? Sorry to talk over you. We were, we were like talking at the same time there. No, you're good. Go ahead. I was going to say, to loop it, you would have to keep finding healing lessons and keep playing them to keep the hexproof, there's, right? Uh, there's a bond to it. Oh, okay. But is it... Okay, end of the day, is this just, like, a soul wall? Like, who cares? It's an egg soul wall, which... Uh, anybody that knows me knows that I do not respect an egg soul walls, even a little bit. Uh, I would love for this one to be good. I don't think it will be. I think this has potential to be insane. The, the, the snowball, the snowball of it healing every time that it also gets to next all you is no, pretty ridiculous. It's because it's hexproof. Do you know hex, how? Like it's hexproof once when you are playing. It's hexproof. Oh, once, oh wait, yes. it he, oh wait, it heals on attack. Yes. Yes. And you get the soul wall. Yes. Oh, right. Okay, I see what you mean now. Like it's hexproof once, but that one turn of hexproof is literally all you need to start snowballing. Because, like, every time you sleeve up a deck with Neg Soul and bring it to locals, you get randomly edge case countered by so much stupid bullshit. 
like yeah. you would never think about the more like anti-disruption that you can slam on one of these cards the better and this is more than we've like seen for an easily like early playable card i think the sumi condition is like fairly reasonable to hit if you have the tools to do so and avatar does they do have them so like level one grabs it you have a bond or two it yeah there's the, the console can grab events i guess you have so a, a level... plusing bond or to it you have an apple what's bond the level it. two katara you pop back to your hand uh you we'll get there but it is caught it is costless but we'll 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 get there it's a costless card is all you need to know and the card pops back when you play the event so you can play it again and play a second event you only need one okay I'm just going to be safe and give it the B. I'm, I'm like a little skeptical because like soul walls have always been just kind of like pretty mid. Yeah. I'm I, curious to see what the deal is. The healing less has never been a next soul wall good. that I have liked. And, and I'm really hoping this changes my mind. I doubt it will though. All right. Next. Uh, Ollie, this is oh, we're here. Ollie, yeah. uh, we got the custom card. Uh, <laughs> level zero Katara. If you do not have another Katara, quick think of the number of cards put from the top of your deck into your waiting room by the climax combo effect of your other Yang, Ang Master of, Ele of All Elements gets plus one. So your Ang check fills five cards instead of four. Uh, your other character in the middle position gets 1500 power. And when the pants is placed in your climax area, you can rest this card to stock a character from waiting room. It yes, looks it. like they're trying to make you play like a pants choice deck, but like this frozen in action card, and then the Ang finisher. But like, I don't think those synergize well together. Oh, the, the climax combo! The climax combo on this card is fucking dog shit. I cannot believe it fucking wasted a slot in this set. Yeah, yeah. like, I, I don't know how those two combos are supposed to work together. Like, I get the first, like, like I, I wish they would have given it, like, have that first effect, but make this a fucking brainstorm or something. Also, just, like, rephrase that first effect. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the first effect is, like, a weird custom set. Yeah, effect. they could have literally just said, your Aang mills five. Yeah, yeah, it's um they again. It's like, like some it's, it's baby's first custom set, dude. You got to give them. But like wh whatever wording aside, it, it gives fifteen hundred a middle, and that's a lot of power. I guess it, and that's constant. someone who wanted to brew the Ang deck. I was hoping this Katara would be something that was like I would want to like have in my deck. You know what I mean? Yeah, this I, I think you kind of like play the card. You play one. Yeah, it, it feels like if you want to play the Aang combo, I'm thinking I have to include this card in the deck for the Aang finisher to be good. But then it's like 1,500 power to the middle is like fine, but it's it's not a card that I'm like excited to sleeve up. It's something like, shit, how few of these Katara's can I run and get away with it? Okay, if if this card instead was not limited to only one copy, and it was like a Brainstorm instead, would you consider the package? Maybe. Wait, what do you mean not limited to one like, copy? You like, could only, you could only have combo on this card and made it a brainstorm, and then it also had the additional effects for Aang? Yes, I would definitely play that. I think this card is fine. If it's, I think if either one of those things you said is true, I'm happy with it. If it is limited to one copy, but it's a brainstorm, I love it. If it is not a brainstorm, but I can have multiples of these on my field, increase my chances i like it but it, they're like reducing stats and usefulness of this card to shoehorn in this garbage combo i don't like that i don't know i i want to play the ang finisher but i i wish this katara would be something like better that like oh this is a card that sits in your back row and like taps to do something useful or you know it wants to I mean, go into. I, I guess the 1500 decks. power constant is like a useful effect, but I don't know. No, no. So, so, so it it wants to go into three different decks. The first effect wants to go into the Ang deck. The second effect wants to go into the Katara deck, and the third effect is wanting to go into its own deck. And none of them play nice together. 
Yeah, maybe that's my issue with it. Like, none of the effects synergize, so you're just getting, like, an underpowered card that just doesn't do enough. I feel like we've spent too much time on... This card sucks. Yeah. You run it with the Aang. This card is not good. You run it with the Aang, you don't want to, but you will. I guess that makes it, like, a C minus. It's like a... The shitty niche card, or no, it, it that makes it a D. No, I I straight up think you do not play this in the Ang deck. You don't even think you play it. I think you have Probably. to. No. I think you have to play it in the Ang deck if you want the if you want the Ang to be good. I think you play the Ang deck the with card. the expectation to hit three, not four, because this is this is trying to push you to hit four. I think you need five cards to expect to hit three. I haven't yeah, done the math. Like, I don't, I don't I think you can expect to hit. This right or not. I'm looking at I my think napkin Andy's right. right now. I'm the looking at my napkin I wrote on, and I'm thinking you need three and five is possible, three and four is not. I think the napkin checks out. It usually does in one. <laughs> the napkin checks out. The napkin out. checks out. <laughs> I would take Andy's, like, buffalo wing stained, like, napkin <laughs> over, like, the hypogeo, to be honest. Because it, it, it usually works out. <laughs> The napkin doesn't lie. The, the napkin doesn't you know lie. When it works, it works, right? Yeah, when it works, it, it works. works. <laughs> it worked. But it worked. All right, next card. Um, or We're back, back around to, to Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're Katara, good. Katara, no chance given. Uh, on play from your hand, choose one of your opponent's characters, and they can't move uh, on your opponent's next turn. And when you play it, you can discard a climax to salvage. Those are two, like, pretty useful, like, um, how would I say, like, niche effects that you would have on, like, you run this as a one-of in your deck, and it's, like, That's fine. a lot of utility to pick up occasionally. You play eight, um, uh, you play eight pants. So you probably got climaxes in your hand. Randomly dunk on some I'm not huge on it. I think I'm with Tyler. I think, like, a C-. It's, it's kind of like something that's, like... It's a like climax this... salvage. I feel like they don't print that second effect very often anymore. What, the stun the stun effect? No, the Climax Ditch Salvage. I, I, I feel like I just see better effects than that instead of that now. Yeah. I think it's a use. It's probably good in Avatar, right? Because you're either playing like 8 bar or you're playing Ants. Yeah, X. it's got some use cases. All right, Carmen. Tight. All right. Oh, it's We've mine. Been... We've arrived. Sokka, offering different perspectives. Art is fucking incredible on this. Yeah, well, you're going to see a lot of it, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> when this is placed on the stage from your hand or put into the waiting room from your stage, you may pay one, choose a character from your waiting room, put it at the bottom of your clock, so that's color. If you do, search your card for a costier or lower character with a level equal to or lower than your current level. Put it in any position of your stage. Shuffle your deck. It is an on-play, on-death spawn, Ricky. Notably, when it hits on death, the card does not come out rested. So, if you have a way to sack this card in the middle of the battle phase, you can summon a card to the front row standing and attack, netting yourself a fourth, fifth, sixth, etc. attack. So that's what ended up getting some cards banned in Hololive recently in the Japanese side of the game. Well, not, ex not exactly. Not exactly. Like the, well, the, the ability to attack more than three times in a turn the without I a card explicitly telling you you can. Yeah, the IMA. The IMA was a card that summoned a card rested, right? If it was summoned rested, it had a line of text that said, if it is summoned from deck, you may discard a card to summon a copy of itself. The copy of itself that was summoned from that card, even though that card was spawned rested, came in standing because it did not specify position. Um, because the card was meant, it was like the design was you play one, you get a full board of them. That was like the joke. It was like a joke card. It was like a common. Um, this, this is a lot different. Because this is the whole package in one card. It's the whole package in one card, yes, except it doesn't have a way to put itself in grave. The difference with the IMA deck is the IMA had, like, two specific, very directed actuators for making it work 
This card has no actuators at all. Sans the 2-2 two, two Azula. What do, you, what do you mean actuator? You mean like a, a sack outlet? A way to sack it mid-combat step. You have no actuator for this card. Outside of the two... It you mean. Yeah, gar- you have no guaranteed actuator outside of the 2-2 two, two Azula. A guaranteed actuator... The, and the 3-2. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah, the 3-2. Like, a guaranteed actuator takes this card from being a haha funny joke to being like an insane meta threat. Um, yeah, I think to put it, like, to frame it, to put it in context, the whole live deck we're talking about, if people don't know, um, it was something that was recently hit, got a ban in the Japanese side of the game, um, where you had a card like this Sokka that when it dies, you can summon something from your deck, but you had ways to sacrifice the cards during the attack step. You could get six attacks a turn starting from level one. The IMA also al- always pulled multiple copies of itself. This is effectively pay one punch yourself to deal one damage to the opponent. Yeah, the fact that you can't play this with Global Soul is a giant hit against it for for use in that way. There are funny ways to use it. Uh, Nando, yeah. like Nando made a video about how you can like spawn extra level one combos from deck, but um, with I have a lot of experience with the IMA deck. I was one of the first people to catch on to it from Ufmi's channel. Like the night he put out the video, yeah, I found it. On Twitter I made that. I made a meme about it. Like and I Simu messaged me about it immediately. It's like, oh, you also figured out the IMA deck. I was like, dude, I'm subbed to Honest White Shorts. Like <laughs> I I know. Like that video popped into my sub box. Um so, like, I knew pretty fast. We were testing in the simulator because a lot of us don't have Hall Alive 2 and JP. We were testing it, going back and forth. So, like, I, I've, been, I've been fucking with that shit for a while. And let me tell you, like, the fact that this doesn't have Global Soul, the fact that this doesn't have the Actuator, the fact that, like, even if this had everything that it could, even IMA, with all its consistency tools, all the tools in Hall Alive, all the ultimate filtering, some of the most cracked filtering cards like literally ever printed in this game, you still fucking lose an IMA all the fucking time. You lose IMAs, you lose attacks, things go fucking wrong all the time. This has so many more go wrong factors that if you are trying to do this outside of your finisher turn, it's a fucking meme, it's a fucking joke, it doesn't work. I think you should... Yeah, like... That's kind of what I wanted to mention is like... Maybe you don't get a, like, wombo combo from level one, but maybe you could just, like, slot these into any deck but, like, standby triggers, right? Like, if you're running one of the standby finishers from red. Oh, well, I, I think you play you it. Just, in... like, randomly. Yeah. Like, just, maybe not even four of, but just, like, throw some of these in your deck, and, like, if you hit a standby on your kill turn, you can just, like, extend your play. Yeah, you just, get a, swing. you just get a free swing. Yeah. No, I, I think that's how you should play it. The thing, the, the only counter to what you're saying, Carmen, is that this is much, much lower opportunity cost of included in your deck than IMA was. Because IMA, you had to have IMA, you had to have Marine and the Sora all taking up slots and ways to grab those things in order to get it to go off. This is just a Ricky. Well, yeah, that's okay. kind of what I was okay. saying too. It's like you don't need the whole like eight nine card package. It's like I can throw two of this Sokka in my deck and maybe just extend my kill turn. What if I yeah, told you power, that? Right? What if I told you twelve slots in Hall Alive is equivalent to four slots in Avatar? <laughs> I would honestly believe you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, effectively, that's. I think they're, you know, pretty similar. But 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 yeah, yeah no, no, no. But, I get what you're saying. You just. Uh, the other thing with Avatar, and we've been keep saying this, your field pluses kind of suck, right? Yeah. For the most part. So playing this as your one of your plusing zeros, not that bad of a line anyway. It's a good card outside of like the meme shit, right? This is a good card outside of the meme shit. It's a spawn Ricky that triggers on play to give you another attacker on the turn that you play it down. Or on death when you go to level one to spawn a copy of your combo or something like that. To spawn another attacker. It is a good card on its own. Like on its own without the meme shit, I would easily give this like a like a BB plus. It's a good card. It's a good profile. Yeah. 
dual time Holly, spawn Ricky. But like Holly, the Tyler, get get rid of the Yodios. Like, what's your actual like grade on this? Oh, I I I okay. I'd, give it, I'd give it like an A. I would give it a B plus. Considering the memes, I'd give it an A. Because if Avatar finds a niche, it's because of this fucking stupid card. If it doesn't get eroded. And it's even if like it, even if it, you into even if it, play a standby deck, right? Even if it does get eroded, where it's like if it's on death, like this gets split into two effects or something, and if it's on death, the card comes in rested. I still think it's fine. I still think it's fine. It's still a good card. <laughs> a, a double timed Ricky is still good. Like we saw, dude, Ari Ferretta slams four of it in every single deck it plays. An on death Ricky. Like an on yeah, play on it, death Ricky, they play four of it in every fucking deck. Like it's if, still good. If if this card is fixed, it it says it still says I try field every turn going second or turn two. I don't know. If, if, if this card, card is if, not if fixed, the card's it's fixed. It, I don't it, care about it. If this card is fixed, it says that and Azula and Zuko just kill you. Yeah, what I'm interested in is like what pushes this card over the edge and like makes it like good to the point where avatar carves a niche in the meta game if they quote fix the card it doesn't do that anymore it's just like a subpar card but the chance to like stand by over this and get extra attacks or like like that's a real feather in avatar's cap like like what are the other enablers for this you said it's the, literally the just azula? stand, stand yeah, it, by it, and two two azula that's it those are your only actuators. I think it's only useful for extra attacks as an enhancement to your finisher. Right. Yeah, and I think that's how it should be played. But it's still a good deck to throw in any other deck regardless. <laughs> like, I, I, I think it's still a good card. I don't think the card's going to get, like, an errata or something. Or banned. It probably won't. Because of that. Like, like... Even though it is, like, still, like, the set isn't out yet. We don't know what decks are going to be big with it. But, like, just from, like, having this conversation and talking we about it. We know they're all like, going to be playing this, though. It's it's not abusable like the Hall Live one is. It's, like... Okay, it's not abusable, but if Avatar finds a niche in the meta, it's because of this card. Yeah. Maybe, it but it's not going to push thing. it to, like, a ban-worthy point. Probably not. I guess that's uh -oh. what I'm getting at. It'll be, like just okay it'll take a finisher that's kind of meh and push it to actually scary but an actually scary finisher is nothing compared to gura like like it, it is the problem okay like, fuck gargura she's gonna get banned <laughs> not, not this season she won't I don't think it's gonna get banned. Not 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 until Eventually. like mid well seventy five percent of the way through the season. That's the way this company operates. So well, yeah, I mean the set's not even out yet, right? Like they gotta let the cards like simmer. They gotta have their I'm simmer. You, let mean, it you mean sell, right? <laughs> they gotta let them sell before they ban. Them? Yeah, yeah. They got, well, no. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in real talk, like the cards gonna come out in English. They gotta see how it performs in English. Obviously, like. The people like us who like play the game at a high level, it's gonna fucking murder the scene in that sense. But they're gonna give it you know, I I do agree with that. The scalpel before the knife, you know, I always say it. Let it have its chance. Let's see if like the metagame can work itself out, but it probably won't. And we're gonna end up with a ban list like Japanese where it's like a five choose one or something. Good card. Well, Let's move on. Saga's good. Next. All right. Uh, uh, here, here, here's one of here's one of the two cards we were referencing when we were talking about the uh, the event. Uh, ex experience, uh, experience two uh, gains a level and two five power, and then it has bottom deck kick whenever it reverses a thing. So yeah, uh, you don't really care about the fact that it just hard removes things you just care about the fact that it's a costless level two yeah it's one of the options for costless level two yeah, and there's, there's this and one other option that we'll get to uh not too far in the future um this why, one why do we care why do we care about costless level two uh for the oh oh, oh for the katara popback thing the katara okay. popback yeah 
to uh, choose that. You play a level one, but it's actually a level two, and it works. Yep, it's that you don't have to pay stock for it. Otherwise, you would. But I'm more preferential to the other one, but this one is. Also I am also good. more preferential to the other one. This, this one also comes foil, and the other doesn't. Oh, this doesn't. One can hard, hard remove mm. Mikos. It can. They're By tying them. If, well, <laughs> I, 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 you would play a climax, I would assume. Well, hopefully. All and right. People are even still playing that deck at the by then. This is a memory kick counter. Ollie doesn't have to waste his turn. We'll just go to the next one. Yeah. Uh, you got this Sokka. It's good art on the Sokka. Uh, two one. Uh, if your experience is five or higher, this gets five hundred power in hand on core, and it gets six K against level when it attacks level three. It is. Uh, Miu Killer. I uh, really like this card. This card doesn't have a home. Yep. It does not, but uh, like this card vacuously is very good. But because like the the only deck you can really put this in is in the eight pants deck. But in you the don't eight have the slots, deck, man. Like that's a problem. Yeah. Yep. Like your 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 way of killing things is going to be the Katara early play, so you can't play this even though i really like this card i played Early extensively with this Sakano's card Tommy, this profile is fucking sick yeah yeah uh, cards card like this the miu the Ilya from uh fate just like early play killers that just keep themselves around i like that yeah they're they're really good uh i'm a big fan but like like you said in this set probably a little more niche probably can't fit it into most stuff the foil looks really good of this, too. Oh, this has a foil? That's <laughs> yeah. funny. This it's is when they're all drunk Italian. on cactus juice, right? It, it's just him. Okay. It's just him. Is, is that a thing? It's not a thing. No, cactus it's not. Cactuses are full of water, right? It's not a real thing. It's a joke thing. From the yeah, it, it was a joke. They were stranded in the desert. They were just like, I'm going to drink this cactus juice. And then Sokka's like, this, this is, this is this incredible. Is the good and then he starts, <laughs> yeah, then he starts hallucinating. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Uh, this is back to me on this one. You, yeah. We got Katara and Aang, reciprocated feelings. There's some like other shitty card that like spawns us out, but we don't need to talk about it. Um, this card gets two thousand power for each of your back row, so ten five with a full full field. Uh, when you play your climax, if you have two or more other characters, you choose up to two of your characters. Uh, it could be this and something else, or just two other things, and they get the effect on attack. Look at two from the top of your deck. Uh, put one on top of your deck, uh, one to waiting room. So you give two things, um, uh, like choose your trigger effect. I think this is probably like a pretty good standby target. Eh. This would be better if you could hold board better, but I feel like you can't in this set. So, but the fact that you get to give two things, check <sighs> check two for trigger. And like if if you have two of these, they stack. That's really good. Do do they stack in a meaningful way though? Because it's like look at top two, choose one to put on top, one to waiting room. If you have that effect twice, that's not great. I mean, I guess you could like it's, it's still digging one more card. No, cards, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I've been playing a lot of movie Nino recently. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> B, the, I mean, yeah, that, that, stacking, the makes... do, stacking the double check to is actually fine. Like, it's a pretty good dig. Yeah, like, that, that's the whole appeal of the Nino deck is you just have yeah. that effect on one card like seven times. So, so sta stacking I, so a why check I two, play Nino? stacking a check two just gives you a stack check three. Right? Pretty much. Essentially. Pretty much, but uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I just. I feel like you either play uh, in the standby decks. You either play the Iro or the Azula, um, just because they're yeah, they, they do more. For the they top do ends. different things. This this one yeah. wants to win board, but the deck is not particularly good at winning board. It's not tanky enough. Well, now yeah. that we know about the Sokka too, because like it's I feel like I'd rather choose Azula because Azula works with Sokka. I would almost play the. Uh, there's a May promo that's an 11k with no other text, and, and I, I I think I would play if I wanted to win board. I would probably play that. That's probably better, yeah. Though though this having the trigger check 
is very nice. I do really like that you can stack those. So it's very unfortunate that this doesn't really have a home. It, it, it's a good card that doesn't have a home, very similar to the last card. Maybe it's just too fair. It's too fair of a card. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yep. Next. Ooh, this is you, Carmen. Who's the handsome devil? Sokka, warm welcome. Uh, it is a ditch a card, spawn a level zero character to your board. And then on attack, choose one of your characters. Can be itself. That character gets X power. X equal to the number of characters you have times 500. So that might be up to 2,500 power. This could be a 6K. Um, I like that it can buff anything. Uh, ditch, spawn a zero. Pretty decent filter. And Perhaps my brainstorm. Doesn't have good filter. I um, I've been, like, I don't know. I have a lot of respect for this profile. I know other people, like, don't in general um but this this profile can make this or you know, break it nice. yeah like th this profile can make or break your deck um depending on what you have to do the fact that this can one can ditch anything i've been playing one in chainsaw man that ditches character um and it's been still really good but like it, feeling that restriction has been insane like how how like impactful just making it so that you can't ditch climaxes is. Um but the profile's still really good. So uh this one even better. You can pump another lane if this has a direct Actually, lane to go yeah. In. I think I like that dis I I'm one of those people who doesn't like the discard spawn profile that you were talking about. But I think I like it quite a bit more when it's combined with the um uh plus five hundred times other characters effect. Oh, this one can buff anything. Because that gives it a lot a lot more utility, too. Yeah, this can buff anything 500 times, uh, like, your total board. So it pumps tw up to 25 somewhere. I actually kind of like that. W yeah, with the, the pump really effect and With the pump effect and the other thing, I like it. If it was just the other effect, I wouldn't like it. Yeah, I mean, all of these do something else now, too. For what it's worth unless they're the new ones that spawn cost zero because they power crept this profile all right next uh tyler uh these are koi fish they refresh on play if you pay two you don't play this card refresh oh, you don't play it f for free fresh uh pay two free wait, 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 wait. really I mean, pay, pay two it's free level fresh. One. If, it, if it was level zero, you could convince me because you could grab it with. Uh, this is blue. Like, like the, the Toph Rico. Wait, okay, what does it matter that it's level zero? Like, if you're going to free fresh, you're not doing it. It's blue. Whenever you play this profile, you want to grab it off of something like the Toph combo, like the Toph 2 1 assist. <laughs> but since you have to pass a check now to grab it, you just don't play it. I think there's enough ways to pass a check to hit it. Like at least comparing, it's if you're blue. Just looking at, are you looking at the top level one combo? Is that the issue? It's <laughs> also blue. Color also matters for it now. You can only play it in uh, decks that want blue. Okay, I mean, if color is an issue, I guess I get it. But F seems like really fucking harsh. I I, I don't like pay two free fresh. Like, I don't think general. I don't think pay for two free fresh is worth playing anymore. Unless you have the last time I considered a, a okay the last time fairly recently the only time I considered to pay for two free fresh in the past like year was in Licorice Recoil because you had the one one Majima that gave you infinite stock you could maybe play the on play level zero pay two free fresh and that was the only time I've considered it in like a year or more. Like the pro I don't know is if not it's a good. factor of like, do you consider playing it, or is it like your set has a free fresh? Do you play it? Like, is there another free fresh option? No. Avatar? If I'm paying two, I want to get a card out of it. Yep. You get a card. You play this to field and you swing with it. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> Pay two plus. Another card. Yeah. You're paying two stock. Like you I, I get want card. this card to give me a card. Like like Archer from Fate. Yes. Oh, 
these fucking Fate fans all spoiled. I, 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 I feel like those like versions. Archer from Fate. Can we? Like, that's can we talk very, about very, Salami? Like, I want to go talk about yes, Salami. Please. Can we stop talking about this card? I don't know what Salami you're talking. I'm gonna give this card a C. All right. Salami. Well, the next card is Salami. Um, whose card is this? This Ollie. Go ahead. You got Salami. All right. Uh, level zero Ang. When this card is placed on station hand, reveal the top three cards of your deck. If the total number of colors among those cards is three or more, choose up to one card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest in your waiting room, and then when this plays from stage to hand, choose a card at the bottom of your clock and one world of Avatar character and exchange them. Card's sick. Never okay, I don't works. know what salami Bruh. means, but like salami, like the deli meat, but like this is pretty fucking good. No, Andy, like, so um, what we're referencing, this, this is word for word the same card uh, of a it, it's the same card from Little uh, Little Busters that has a character's named Sasami on it, and Sasami is difficult to say, so you just say Salami. Is this one? Mommy Salami. Is this? Yeah, one? that card. I like Mommy I Salami. Love that card. This is a pretty good effect. I like this. The a second lot. effect is actually like you know something that comes up. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so, Salami switches with a trait that you don't play, but Ang at least. Anniversary you... or sports. Yeah. It's funny that this is literally the exact same card. Like, it has the same second effect as well. They which both is really have funny. Uh, Salami's cracked. Uh, always hits, especially when you queue into someone playing Little Busters at WGP uh, Nationals online. <laughs> um, they always hit. Shout out to my opponent in that tournament. Total bro. Awesome dude. Uh, also just hit on every fucking salami. <laughs> it's broken, dude. It always hits. I don't understand why, but it does. Always hits. Seems, yeah, also, uh, good since, like no, the... since, since nobody's brought it up, you can grab anything you reveal if, the, if you yeah. pass the chat. You reveal a climax, you Climaxers, pass Climaxers, events, characters, anything. It seems like a pretty yeah. good thing to pop back to your hand with the JC. Yes, it is very good to pop back with the JC. Yep. One of the and, last and, ones. And, and, and the Shinobu also makes this able to scale over something. Yeah, I, I know in like Little Busters, uh, I, anytime I didn't know what to grab off of a combo or whatever, I, I would just grab Salami. You just play Salami and she always plays yeah. this. Yes, yeah, so you just play your deck as, a four, as four colors and as even split of colors as you can and then this hits like 50 percent of the time which is actually every time. 100%, 100% of the time, of the time. 50% so how do you, of the time how do you guys not how, how do you guys not like the ang combo but you like salami because salami is a level zero you can slam at any time ang is a finisher you slam at a single point and when you whiff you lose yeah <laughs> okay. at the end of the day Was this is just unpleasant enough for me like yeah, I, I, I guess yeah. I mean, this, this is on play, about... the, it's on play mill three with a huge upside. I guess like yeah, you guys were saying like okay, we need mill power. This mills three. Um, this is also something you can grab off of like any sort of like graveyard effect, like cigarettes or level one toff. So I can yeah. see it. Yeah. Is the second effect? Does it ever come up? Like the bottom card of your clock and the avatar it does thing. if you're playing an insane play amount of colors too, yeah. yeah i, I figure sure. at that point you'd play the one one event that makes everything like colorless but no it matters it. going the into one you're building a four color deck is you want to build it towards two colors and then you just have the other two colors be ancillary where you either very rarely play them or they're zero so it doesn't matter this, uh, but you still run into the issue of, oops, my level one is all red and there is yellow and green in my clock. This fixes that. Or if you're playing Little Busters, you'd be like, damn, I can't slam my red climax because I have nothing but green in my oh, clock. Yeah. <laughs> Little Busters had a dual color level one combo. <laughs> Dude, when they got a, a level one combo with a climax on color in, in key, it was like, damn, <laughs> true power. Now, now we're rolling. I can't believe you guys are all giving this like a higher grade than me. This seems like a card that I would love and you guys would hate. Look, dude, it's but about it's learned like experience. 
you slam this card on the board, it always fucking hits. You guys just love <laughs> like, so, so Here's the thing. You play this card like four or five times in a game, it's going to hit at some point. You hope. <laughs> okay, Car Carmen, Carmen, I got to hold you accountable for this. When we were doing the set review for fucking... Um... <sighs> What's it called? The set that you ran the eight book deck for. The one with the play game effect. You oh, play the card. You like name a number. Yeah. You name a number. They call the thing, and like you get to draw cards if they yeah. hit right. Yeah. If you play six of those during a game, one of them's gonna hit. You're gonna draw a card. But you hated that card. But you love mommy salami. Well, mommy salami does an effect that I can immediately react to and control my deck with. What do you mean? If, if if they hit the card when you play the game and you just get to draw cards off that you immediately react to it because you draw the card, you play it immediately. That's not what, that's not what that, that's not what that, that's, well, no one in their right mind would ever call anything other than zero unless they knew that you weren't playing any level twos, in which case, I don't know, you're sitting across from Bow Free. So like they're probably playing Frederica. Okay, then, then so you're getting, don't call if they call two. zero, then if they call zero, you're probably like hitting. Bro, like, I literally lost to Bow Free maybe? at the last regional. And I called zero every single time. What are, the like, God, what, what are the goddamn hypergeometric stats on hitting a fucking three of three with this Aang? That what, three different colors? Depends on how many colors. Three it, and three. It depends on the colors you're playing, but like... That if I remember tough. right, if, if it's split as evenly as you can, it, it, it's just shy of a 50%. Yeah. The numbers were ran on Salami because people love Little Busters for some reason. I don't know why people love Little Busters, man. It's just lost, except instead of a island, it's a bus. Spoilers. What do you mean? Well, I guess it's a school. Instead of an the island, it's a school. Great, and instead of a plane, it's a bus. Are they great? That's, it's like the same as Lost. I think so. As Jack, uh, Ricky, they're the same character. That was they my hot take. They go, to, they go to heaven at the end. What do you mean? It, yeah, it's exactly the same as Lost. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 All right. But yeah. I've I never mean, seen Lost. I'm completely lost. No, just know that it's the exact same thing as Little Busters. So um, if I want to watch Lost, I should just watch Little Busters. No, just watch Lost. It'll, it, it'll be. <laughs> is Lost better than Little Busters? I don't know. I don't know, know. I don't know man. They're both about the same. They're both pretty bad. <laughs> does Lost have Does Lost have waifus? It d depends on your <laughs> definition. Depends on your definition of waifu. It depends how neurodivergent you are. I think Little Busters have some awful waifus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was the salami <laughs> card. Okay. That was a good talk. All right. Next God card. Damn it, Andy. It's back to me. Joke, man. Yeah. Whoa. All right. We got Harakatara. Um. When you play her, you can rest one of your standing characters. You do choose one of one card in your level and one card in your waiting room. Exchange them. Choose one of your characters. Gets five hundred. Uh, and when you play it, you can pay one, salvage a healing lesson. So, it, like, Ricky's for the... Or just pay one, like, Apple Bonds to the healing lessons. That first effect seems pretty shit. Uh, the second effect, just to bond to the healing lessons, is, like, a straight plus. Seems pretty decent. What do you mean? Level swap's not shit. You, you play it because it's a bond your to your event, and then it also fixes your experience. Oh, shit. I, I forgot about experience. ran over. I mean, yeah, I hate experience so much that I'd probably really appreciate this card. Well, it's also just a pay one bond to your combo yeah. piece, like I Apple the, Bond. Yeah. Okay, the, like a big problem with this deck when we were putting it together, like just early, when, like a, b a bunch of people on a call just like trying to brew. Um, where does your hand come back from? Like, where do you get your hand back from? This was like the card. We were like, oh, there's an Apple Bond. It's an Apple Bond. It's like pretty important. Real talk. Do you just play like do you play like three to four of this? Probably two to three, I think, is where you'd start. I think most of the lists I have right now are just playing two. But yeah, that's I right. I, know that. I also have four no healing practical lessons. testing. Four so healing more, lessons, yeah. Because yeah. you have to hit it off the Sokka. Like ideally, you want to hit it off the Sokka. So, all right. Next, uh, we're getting into the chaff now. Uh, this isn't chaff. Is the, this one is not chaff now. Uh, whose card is this? 
QR is. Uh, oh, is it? Terrible yeah. jokes. Ember Island players. On field, it's Osaka. If you have the casting horrors, he's a 4,500 two soul. We talked about this already. And he gives your casting horrors uh, 1K. So your casting horrors, when you play it, you open that. You ditch like a level 3 or something. The casting horrors is 3K. This is a 4,500 two soul. Pretty good. Your field pluses that don't cost stock in this set are few and far between. There's the TD 4K, and that's like the, it's like the 35s. Like there's a coin flip 35 and a couple cards we'll look at. If you want to hit over that, or like you have the slots to do so, like a 3k plus a 45 two soul, pretty fucking good. If you have the slots to do it, I, I implore you to try it out. It, it seems pretty okay. Two souls, a lot of soul. It's 100% more, more soul than normal. Timmy, two soul. Um, Avatar's coming out, so am I. Yep, exactly. Next card. Guitar. Uh, Tyler, go ahead. It's not yet. Uh, if it's in the, it counts as a guitar on field, all of your uh, Angs and Sokka's gain a level in 500 power, you can rest it to give a dude 500. No. Like I told you, this one was unplayable. This one's really bad. You know what bothers me? What? It's not the fact that this is unplayable. It's it, it's the fact that the flavor text on this and the Sokka are responses to each other, but this is later in the series than... Oh. Uh, like, it, this is card 92. The Sokka is card 91. But the Sokka's flavor text is in response to this. Oh. Yeah. It is weird. Yes. <laughs> Oh, these, are the things, these are the things right, that I think about. This Sokka Fire Nation described. Fire Nation disguise. <laughs> described. Fire Nation described. What is described. the Fire Nation? Well, it's an allegory what for is the Fire imperialist Nation? Japan. Um, uh, all your opponents gain pay two encore. Uh, this ability activates after one time per turn when this becomes reversed in battle. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it is two or higher, you may rest this card. This is actually... I, I think this Megumi. is totally fine. Megumi. Like, Megumi can play Megumi. so many cards at the top that, like... Yeah, I, I, I think I think this probably cards. finds its way into... This rounds out the trifecta of coin flip cards, by the way. This, the Suki, and the Appa. Yep. They all make your level zero line in a deck that probably isn't good, but is definitely funny. I think this card probably finds its way into a lot of decks, actually. I'd play this. It's a, it's a three five. Sometimes it lives. Yeah. If you if you believe, I don't think you'd play that in your deck, lives. Carmen. You would not play that. Why in this? Deck. I've slotted this into a lot of decks, one. actually. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. There's no way. Look, pro avatar's pretty rough. You gotta give me a pass. You're giving me so much shit for there's, there's liking swimsuit two Megumin. Okay, swim suit Megumin. Okay, swim. So this card is better than swimsuit Megumin. This card doesn't How? mill. It doesn't mill the card. It only reveals it. So you can't randomly mill a fucking. Oh, fuck off! Who cares? What do you mean? Who cares? That's the problem with swimsuit Megumin. It's literally better. It's, it's literally better. Out. This card also doesn't randomly turn off like your cards, like Swimsuit Mega Mean can. Yeah, it does. But yeah, ultimately, there's there's two three fives in the set. There's this and there's the green Ang. Do you want a blue three five or do you want a green three five? I think they're both the same. Or a four K. Or the four K, yeah. Or a forty five level two. <laughs> two soul. That one takes a bit more work though. A little bit. All right, next card. Um, whose card Queens, is this? This, this is back to me here. We got Katara High Society. Uh, when you play her, uh, this card gives a level on a thousand power. Uh, when it attacks, choose one of your other characters. Uh, give it five hundred times the number of other World of Avatar characters. Yeah, I think there was like a level zero or something earlier that did that also, or like a level one that I like better. This yeah, one gains there's, a there's level. Another on option for the event. What was Where the other one? It uh, had experience. It, it was a 6k and had on reverse bottom deck. Yeah. This I one is a little bit better. better. Really? I think this one's a little better. Has a little bit more utility. It's a I, 50. I, I, I think I'm comparing different. it to a different. Oh, you're comparing it to level one Katara, right? Yes. Isn't, isn't this comparing, like I was looking more at the, the pump know? power effect and I like the other. Yeah, part. yeah. The pump power effect is worse, but this is. Uh, in terms of en enabling the two one event, this is better. I give us it pluses plus for level. that. Yeah, it's always plus a level on play.
What did I give the other one? They're, they seem about equal, actually. Actually, no, I think I like this one better, actually, because this actually gives power on play. This one's better. All right, next. Uh, Erwin, I think it's you. Right? Yep, 1-1 one, one, yep. Katara, Fire Nation Disguise. It is a level assist in front, and then it has experience when your character's trigger check reveals a climax with pants and its trigger icon. If, as long as you have experience too, you may uh, discard any card from your hand. If you do, look at a top three. And any card from among them in your hand, you do not have to reveal it, put the rest in the waiting room. Uh, Kazuma on pants trigger, pretty fucking good for looping your combo. Uh, digging you into more events, digging you into additional 3 2 Katars, pretty fucking good. You play this one, that's for sure. Makes your Katara 12, uh, 12 cross, swing in at 13 respectable you should probably have counters lined up though if you expect you, it to win on defense do you play enough green in the eight pants deck to play the toff instead of this i think it is worth trying to squeeze it but if, that gives, if you can't this is still fine i think they both have filters but toff has a third effect and gives 500 extra power yeah i think it depends on the power breakpoints, right like for the meta, yeah. it, it, it's like a power bring point thing. Because at think, the end of the day, both filter effects are good. It's just they're both good in different ways. Being able to and slam I, this at one is also pretty good. That's true. So I, I think it's going to be like a power threshold thing and uh, how much you value being able to play it at one. But it's pretty good. But we can move on. It's pretty simple, but pretty strong. Uh, Tyler, go ahead. Oh, why? Why do I keep getting the getting the cards that upset me? Uh, uh, Hama Bloodbender. If there's a marker under this card, it gets a thousand power for each of your other characters. Whenever it's played on the stage from hand, you can choose one of your other characters and put it face down underneath this as a marker. Whenever it kills level two or higher, you get to blindstock one, right? I can't read. Yeah, my body is a little fuzzy. You can choose one of your other characters from stage. Oh yes. no! You 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 top deck and add, uh, top check and add a this, character. You don't block. Yeah, from you marker from, mark her from stage or something. Yeah, you marker from stage, which makes it. Th this is like anti flavor. There's a lot of cards that are like stretching for flavor. This is anti flavor. This because, is straight up just not what she does. Because you eat your character. own character instead of your opponent's character. Yeah, like I. This should have just been a grappling hook. This should have just straight up been a grappling hook. Well, it's not. I think the Don't fact, that, get fancy with the fact it. that you have to reverse a level two opponent to get maybe a card in your hand. This thing's never the, reversing the, level two or higher. The three two it's, it's not a good from card. You, you three, don't play this card. You, the, you don't play this card. This is not a good card. I'm just purely upset that they missed on the easiest flavor win that they was, could have done. Is this the like three the two Aki from Chainsaw Australia? Man? The three two Aki from Chainsaw Man early play heals and also when it reverses any character coin flips are stuck this coin flips for a hand oh well even worse yeah I, I i just read it wrong because my monitor is a bit blurry is this like the most broken ability in the series blood bending uh, pretty, pretty much yeah it is. yeah and they never fucking utilize I, it I, it's, I, it's like super taboo right it's but like tara knows how to do it no. but she's a good girl and one never well, one is taboo, and two, they can only do it during the full moon, which is said to be a restriction. But if you go and watch the series, it's a full moon in like eighty percent of the uh, episodes. So, yo, nice. Wow, I, I, it's really cool. They have one episode a month, like or whatever. I don't know how does the moon. <laughs> how does the moon work? I don't know how the moon works. But but like but twice no, a month, there, right? Is it there, twice there's a like month? some stupid OP powers, and this is one of them. Blood bending's pretty cracked. Yeah, all all they had to do was just make this a grappling hook or just something like that. That's all it needed to be. It would have been would have been sick. I would have been happy, but instead I'm here complaining. Last card in blue. Uh Ollie. this is Ollie. Yeah. Uh healing lesson. Two one event. Uh choose one of your level two or higher characters of guitar's name, return to your hand. If you do, choose one of the following effects to perform it. Choose a Katara saving in your hand, put it in position on the stage, and that character gets the following ability until under your opponent's next turn. This card cannot be chosen by opponent's effects. Or you can heal one, uh, choose a character, and that gets three can't tell on a turn, and then this goes into memory. The fact that this also has heal stable to it is pretty cool. 
Um, it just gives it another mode. But, dude, three specific cards by two is like real sculpting. Like that's like that's like a real sculpt cost. Yeah. You gotta have say... the card that changes to two. You gotta have the event. You gotta have the Katara. And ideally you wanna have multiple three two Katara, right? So you need to have two events, two three two Kataras, one one zero that gains a level on play, and the climax by two. That's a lot to put together in a set without a yeah, lot of so like really if good filter. To Katara, if you're wanting to double Katara, you, you need you need a lot to go right. You need you need five different individual cards. You need two 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 events, two of the three two Kataras, and then one of the uh, uh, level twos that's actually yeah. level one. And the thing is, you can only play three combo on the turn prior. So where so in an ideal world, let's say each of your sockets grab an individual piece for the combo. Where are you getting the others from? You have to just clock draw and You're clock still draw down rip them. Yeah, that's it. You probably need to have like an efficient early game where you can like hold some of the stuff over Mulligan, or if you mulligan hard, like some of the stuff flows into your hand and you can like hold it, right, and not have to like clock it or ditch it or whatever. So probably have like a, a resilient level zero game, right? Where you can like Hoard some cards in your hand. I'd imagine. Yeah, like, like yes, there's the bonder to the event, but you would also need the bonder to find its way into your hand. Or you can just raw draw into the events. Like, yeah. It's just like, so many moving parts, which is why I think this combo... I, like I kind of like my idea of just having like a really resilient level one. Maybe you run those like 4,500 like level ones at level zero, right? The ones where it's like you just need an, to clutch onto that extra card if you go first, right? Yeah. And you just like try to like you build for this combo from the you know from the word go. It's not something you're like reactively sculpting into, but something you have to like from the second the game starts, you have to like be working towards. At the end of the day, if you're playing Katara, you're playing this. You 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 can't not do that. So. Carmen, you said you've like messed around with this, right? Like, how a how feasible bit. is it? A little bit in terms of like building it. I mean, like the the deck looked fine in terms of like uh, building it, but like I don't, I don't know. Seems okay. Maybe it'll be one of those things where once we get our hands on the cards and paper, you know. And we can start getting reps with it. We can start hammering it down. But like, seems like it has promise. Like out of the gate. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely sleep like brewed up eight pants first, but um, constantly getting everything into your hand for the turn seems rough. And like playing a normal early game, playing a normal early game seems fine. It seems like transitioning it into this is a little rough. Where you have to like slowly scale up to multiple, which is like not ideal. I, th I think it's I, again. I think it's one of those decks where you don't like just pivot into it, but it's like yeah, you gotta have, go have, like, whole hog. Yeah, opponent. you gotta get like you. You gotta get like Brandon to sit down with you. Like get Brandon to fucking build this deck, right? You gotta go fucking all in on it. Like all the yeah, it's the just like it has to be everything at every point, or it's not gonna work. Which is how I built it to, at the beginning. Like, yeah. it was literally just like slam four of everything, like try to get everything. But like, I don't know. That's a lot to put together. You gotta like, maybe, maybe you like have to try to do this on first deck. You have to play a lot of the bonder. You have to try to play as lean as possible. Pick up all the characters. Mill past this card on Sokka and then bond off to the event on the turn. And that's how you get everything into your hand. Like, I, I can't think of, like, a play pattern that, like, consistently puts all of this in your hand. It's a lot you got to put together. Like, with, with the cards in Avatar, that is. Except for, like, that. Like, maybe if you mill past everything, like, play to, like, loop the bonder. Why does this set not have a Rico? Every set, yeah. every set needs a Rico, dude. What are you talking about? Dude. It does. What, what? 
Yeah, when you trigger one. a climax, yeah. Oh, you got level one tough. That's two Ricos, one card. <laughs> like, dude, Rico, Rico's like the X Factor card, dude. That card's insane. Back. All right, I think we're good. Uh, that is it for blue promo lightning round. There's a couple important ones here, so uh, we'll run through them. Uh, I'm gonna read them all. You guys give your score really quickly. Brief thoughts. Chibi Ang, okay. uh, when this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you may discard any card. If you do, choose a consultation with past selves. That is the 1 1 mil for event. Uh, Tyler! And return it to your hand. F minus! You don't, you don't play the event, you don't play this card. Uh, don't even say I like this event card. Go back to yellow, watch it. I, I like that event card. Uh, I don't know the, why. The I still don't know why fine. you don't like it. The event's I fine. I love this. This is great. This is the, fucking the event. Card. The event is only fine for the mill and the memory. It's not good for anything else. Yeah, that's why you'd play it, and then it's like a bonus. Like I'm not even thinking about it from like the three two ang perspective, but like this is like the slime package. You bond to the event. The event goes to memory. Okay. 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 Hear me out. Deck. Not Ooh. quite. A, okay. It's not Waiting. quite as good. As no, no. 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 Not no. No. Good, no. Like, completely different. Waiting room bonder. Completely different. A little bit different. Yeah, it's not very quite different. as good, but it's similar. Very different. Not, it is very different. Uh, okay, next. Uh, Chibi Toph. Um, once per turn, when you act, it gains uh, on reverse, pay one salvage. Okay. Decent. Overlaps with the TD Zuko. That seems fine. Chibi like Zuko. Uh, on play, if your opponent has one or less characters in center stage. Nuke their character, send it to waiting room. And it has memory dump. I, eh. I don't think you play this even in like a Psychono meta. Nope. When does he get this mask in the show? Very early on. This? Very early? Okay. Yeah, it's like midway through season one. Chibi Sokka. Uh, on play gains 15. You have four more other characters. Uh, use a character in waiting room, put it in stock. No. Yep, sucks. Tara, uh, on play, gains X power. X is equal to the number of World of Avatar characters you have times 1,000, including itself, so 12k. Uh, when the level 2 or higher battle opponent becomes reversed, you may pay 1. If you do, switch your deck for a character. Not good. Maybe. not. It's not good, but maybe. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem that bad. Okay, like okay. Everything. It's actually not that bad. It's like... um. You could convince like, me, but uh, I'm not gonna. It's like Hot for Teacher Megumine, um, except uh, that card salvaged, so you knew what you were trying to, like, snipe for it. You oh, know, come on. Don't even cards. hit me with that shit, dude. You got you gave me so much shit earlier for the Aang being, oh, it's just okay, it's a salvage, okay. not a search. And now it's... Oh, now what do you... Okay, no, no, no. When you're tripping events out of deck on first deck, it matters. This is like a card that sculpts you into endgame. The zone doesn't matter as much. Um. Okay. Okay, you're right. Uh, that it. card. That card was a level three killer. This is just a twelve k. It's probably fine. Uh, she's three, so cute. It's very cute. Three two ang on play. Draw one. Ditch one. Bounce one. Uh, if you have four more other characters, you get to stock one from waiting room. It's a bouncer. Do you want a bouncer? It's here. Yep. Sounds right. Uh, top spa day on play heal when you direct pay one ditch one burn one this card is mid as fuck it's a green healer do you want a green healer it's here I don't know I don't know if I want a green healer uh, one one iro uh, when your other character tech oh my god it's it's fucking who's her name from ruby the same card Historia from this, Linda. Uh, this card swings at 10k and has hand on core I don't think it's useless. Like I think that's like fine. they're fine. They're just not great. Yeah. Uh, Zuko and May in their own world. Two so two k in each other. Oh my god, it's eleven k. It's probably fine. Stand by. The fucking Fujimi standby target. Actually, yeah. Katara confrontation. When this card is placed on the stage for your hand, blink one of your opponent's characters. When you attack, choose one of your level two or higher characters and gets 3k. Ugh. And it is useless. This card is 
this yeah, this right. will be make your deck worse. Right, it blink might randomly be relevant. The other effect useless. Rather just play like any other. That's card rough, card. buddy. That's rough, best, buddy. Best, that's best rough, fucking buddy. card. My girlfriend became the moon. That's rough, buddy. Uh, Zuko empathy. If your opponent is a lover through a higher character, this card gets minus one love in your hand. It gains five k and no events or backups. And then it has on reverse pay one burn one. This card's actually pretty sick. <laughs> Yeah, that's what yeah, you tell yeah, your actually. opponent when you uh, kill their early play. They're hoping to pull board. I like that. Yeah, I like that, it, buddy. Dude, okay, I really like that it randomly gains five k because it just shows that the person that made this set has literally no idea what the balancing is and is just throwing shit around. Good, it just, good. It made it, they made a good card. Fourteen k swing fourteen. I mean, you're probably. Well, like, I mean, fourteen uh, versus fourteen versus thirteen five is relevant. It's because you need full board. Yeah, that's yeah, sure, fine. dude, sure, and and that's not at all, like, okay. Is it I love the early play say condition. This is a good too. card. It's a good card. I, I love the early play condition. If your opponent has a level three, that's something like I've always loved. It, it's it's especially better on it's this very card convenient. because this is a board response card. Yeah, so it plays directly into how the card is used. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, that's, that's rough. Rough, buddy. Katara, the Painted Lady, on play uh, Scry, and then pay one, ditch one, check X, where X is the number of your board. It's okay. Uh, by the way, we have oh, absolutely wait. no idea how you get the Zuko that we just looked at and the next three cards. We have absolutely no clue. Oh, Carmen, me and Tyler were talking about this when on one of the yes, breaks. Dang. We think it's going to be something like one of the... Uh, you remember like the Attack on Titan packs? So oh, you think they're they were, like you got like four different things? And it was like no, that's yeah. the uh, the Ang the Ang Toph, Iro, Zuko, and Katara are from that type of thing. We don't the... know what these are from. Oh, so it might be the Ang is from BCS. It, it might be easier to get than you think. It's like a lot of those silver pack cards. Like I worked at an LGS, right? And Carmen saw a lot of the stuff that came through there too. Where it's like those silver packs, like usually just have like one card in them, the tournament assist packs. But the yeah. ones for Attack on Titan, they were like four cards in a pack, I think. Right. And like each store got a ton of them, and like one of them was foil, and the the rest of them were like normal rarity. So they might not be actually that hard to get if you're just looking for a base rare, or not like a foil. Also, those packs came with the um the supply sets as well, and Avatar is a supply set, so. Yeah. I don't think they'll be too hard to get. Mm -hmm. All That's right. Rough, buddy. Um, this card gets a thousand power times your number of other characters. Who fucking cares? And then uh, the last card is a vanilla. Oh, it does have a soul trigger. Wait, it does. Oh, oh it does. It does. F plus. I'll give it a D. <laughs> F. Does it go from a lowercase f to a uppercase f? No, it just goes to an f. I was wondering why this was only seven five because the Miku uh, clock filter has that same effect, but then it is also seven five. I never realized this had a soul trigger. It's All like right. a derpy face. I, I, I was I was way too distracted by. You no, know, at, at the design yeah, team, know, they, might right? not, they might not have realized it either. The last card is a goddamn vanilla. Didn't you get this at like a convention or something? I think so. I, I think this was like a convention promo or something. Maybe. Something I, I don't really care. I've got like six of these and I don't know where they came from. This is the this is the last slide. This is where you were. What do you guys think of this set? We looked at it all of it. Yeah, if, if we're still quoting Chandler here, is this one of the sets that I like or one of the sets that you like? I think this is definitely a set that you like. You being the global you, because this is not a set that I like. So I sets that you like there. is like, that's a good set. No, set, no, sets that you like are sets that you don't like. Sets that, or... So sets, sets that you like Sets are like that I sets. like. Well, here's the thing. I am me. So sets that I like are sets that are good. <laughs> and sets that God. you like are sets that are bad. We're referencing like an archaic <laughs> fucking video on YouTube. Of like... I think it's going to be like a solid deck. I, I think like there's something this here. The, there's this something is the here. first time I've seen any of these cards, right? Like you guys have been brewing with it for a while. I've tried to like censor myself and um, have like a fresh pair of eyes coming into this. 
it's Andy's lane. He fulfills like, it well. Um, I think like out of the gate, like just after going through this, I think something something with the Toph, like the level three Toph, like the the Conada combo, that seems like out of the gate, like the best thing you could do. Um, pumping into that level three Conada, I don't know what it would be exactly. I Pants. but I don't know what I'd run at level one. Pants stand by Azula. That's the Sokka line. into Azula is like the best thing I've seen. It is the deck the girl that to play one of the standby combos with Sokka and just kill your opponent. It looks it looks the most like a modern deck, and everything else I've seen looks like it has glaring issues, major problems, relies on hitting like multiple pluses off brainstorm per turn to work um other random issues like i don't know like you don't they think just Toph's don't look gonna good. Be good i am gonna mess with Toph. i hope Toph can be good Toph um, reads really good to me Toph reads good but if like i think you it's it's like kanata where you just have to eat one chunk but because Toph doesn't heal you're even more contingent on the cancel yes you have like some top checks to get into them but if you just don't hit, you just don't hit and you lose. And like this is Weiss, you just don't hit all the time. Like the a a good deck is a deck that can whiff and keep going. But we'll see. I'm hopeful. I'm gonna fuck I'm with it. I'm not Doomer on the set yet. I'm not but... Doomer either for all the things I've said. I think what, what, there's what you, something. What, what do you guys think? Our esteemed guests, Tyler and Ollie, what do you think are gonna be like the big decks from this set? Oliver, you wanna go first? Uh, I'm not really impressed with the set, to be honest. It looks pretty mid. Off the top of your, your head, Ollie, if I had a gun to your head, like I do uh, right now, and you had to go to a tournament. He has a gun. Maybe maybe, maybe Pants Bar or 8 Bar might be, might be good. Some standby amalgamation. Other than that, everything else looks extremely whatever. Yeah, so I, so I, I'm kind of biased because this set is draining my bank account, but um, so so I'm just gonna desperately try to find something that works. As it stands right now, I don't think the set is bad. I I think there's multiple decks and multiple different ways of playing said decks that you can that that you can reasonably expect to win with at like a local level. So like maybe maybe you hit the person that just enjoys bringing Overlord to locals, but uh yeah, at, uh but with Sokka being the way it is right now, some standby deck is going to be a decent contender for this set because it just extends your uh both of the standby combos so far. Because with with Sokka uh, working the way it does right now, and slash being legal right now, it it basically just says if you are ahead in this game, you win. Yep. Yeah, that is that is what it does. Because like while you're punching while you're punching yourself to get the extra attacks, if if your opponent is just like, if your opponent is at a higher clock than you are, and you're just attacking them a whole bunch. They're dead. They're just they're just dead. And it doesn't matter like what builds up to that as long as long as you can build up to that. Be that eight standby, pants standby, bar standby. Just put the cards in your hand, be ahead, win. But if if Saka gets banned or errated to be fixed, I think some kind of top shell is probably what's going to uh, be good and it's it's going to be hinged upon can you get the cancels when you need it I, I i do think that deck is probably too fair though because with stuff like whence N N nino being nino itsuki being itsuki overlord um all alive just all those things those decks are unfair if you want to go to an event to win the event, you want an unfair deck. I don't think Avatar is unfair without Sokka just saying, I'm ahead, I win. Yeah, I, I can see that. I, I can definitely see that. 
I think that's a pretty like pretty objective look at things. Regardless of what happens, it's still draining my bank account, as I've said. Yeah, and I mean, it's definitely not looking down on Avatar as a set. It seems like a very like wide open set to do whatever you want with, pretty much. It seems like super, super solid. Um, it's just missing so much. And it seemed to me like it had a lot of the stuff. Is it just like at level zero, some of the utility or just some of the mill power? Utility zeros. So yeah, mill power, just like better selectivity in general. Uh, unfair finishers. Yeah, all the level one combos seem pretty middling too. Like the lack of like like a really it, solid got, level one. If it got one of those modern tools, then it'd probably be fine. We got what we got right now. I could definitely see a set two at some point, especially since uh, Korra, Legend of Korra. The screenshots you know, cover the entire series. I don't think yeah. there's going to be a set two. Well, no, I say I'm like with Korra, you know, it's like an extension of the show. Maybe at some point we get a set two. But Korra would make me sad. Because you'd be broke? No, I, I wouldn't go hard on Korra because... I enjoy Korra more than most Avatar fans, but I still don't enjoy Korra. Fair. Damn. All right. Oh, well, uh, yeah. I think that is it. Um, Tyler, you want to shout anyone out? All of you two. Uh, it is currently past midnight, so my brain is not functioning enough to think on a question like that. Okay, well, I will link your channel. At Weeb Schwartz. At Weeb Schwartz. Um, At Weeb Schwartz on YouTube and Twitter. You can see my daily post where I ask Bushy Road to fix the ban list for fate. And they never will. They never will. Eventually, they will. Uh... All right. Well, Ollie, you don't got it. Do you got anything? No. <laughs> well, you never do. Every time I ask Ollie, it's like, Ollie, you got anything? And he's like, fuck no. I'm just out of here. I was like, good, because I got to go buy Chainsaw Man cards. You know what? Shout, shout out to Carmen for letting me be on here, because I asked. They, they this, didn't invite me. This fucking Makima, $1,700. What the fuck? Why? The, the SP or SEC? The, the CSMR. That's in Yen, Carmen. It's CSM, no, 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 it's on Nova. It's sixteen hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Sheesh! Uh, I believe that's it's rough, buddy. Sheesh. One, yeah, one rough. two master cases. Yeah, sometimes your girlfriend becomes the moon, and sometimes Monkima's seventeen hundred dollars. <laughs> and that's just that's just the way life is. Um, yeah, I believe she's. I believe CSMRs are one per two masters. Uh, I'll probably do Chainsaw Man next. I I've been putting off. Dude, Azure Lane is like we have like a couple more set reviews we have to do. Azure Lane is like this massive fucking undertaking that's like literally impossible to do in one night, and I've been shoving it off and shoving it off as long as possible because I just don't fucking want to do it. Um, because it's like a, it's such a commitment. So we're gonna try to knock everything out first. We'll probably do a, like Azure Lane last because there's just way too many fucking cards. We like so you thought Hall Life had like it's all, there's so many cards. Um, and there's so we many cards. We didn't that do Hall together. Life set two yet, did we? Yeah, we did. Okay, I must not have been on that one. At least I think we did Hall Life set two, do we? <laughs> Maybe we did. That, that would have probably been like over a month ago. I don't know. I can go check. I can go check the channel right now. Too good. many fucking sets. Not enough time to review them. This is, uh, this is whatever. People, people like the. Uh, People like the Eins meme that I made. I'm happy people like that. That was pretty Undertale good, yeah. Me and, uh, Andy had the idea to add the game over screen at the end. It was all Andy. Yeah, I'll, I'll show for us on this one. That was a pretty good video. Uh, we did not do Hall Alive set two. I figured, because I feel like I would have remembered Tanner saying something dumb about the card. Um, and by dumb, I mean like just freaking out over something. You'd be like, oh my god, it's Look how cute Miko is. I mean, she is pretty cute. She is. Um, okay, like I said, I gotta go buy Chainsaw Man cards, so I guess we're done. See ya!